My name is Thomas Crowley, and I am from Church of the Resurrection in Lansing. So first of all, I'd say you're not alone in fears and discernment. It's okay to have fears and discernment. Um, oftentimes what Satan does is he'll make us angry at ourselves for the fears that we have or what's going on. So first of all, it's okay to have fears. The important thing is not the question of do I have fears, but the question of where do I take my fears? So when you have fears in the discernment, the important thing is don't hide them. Don't push them away. Don't like act like they're nothing. But instead, know that the Lord desires to bring peace and joy and speak truth into those fears. So the number one thing you can do is, first of all, acknowledge your fears and then relate them to the Lord. Take them to prayer. Tell the Lord about them. Surrender them to the Lord. Ask for Mary's help to do this. And when we do this, then we allow the Lord to speak truth into those places of fear and really just push them away. And we can renounce them in the name of Jesus Christ uh, because they have no power over us. Uh, But we must take them to the Lord, relate them, and then allow the Lord to speak truth in. And then after that, I just encourage you in your discernment to flip your mindset. Oftentimes we look at what we're losing. We, we have this like worldly glance of, oh my goodness, if I get into seminary or if I become a priest, I'll miss out on this, that, or the other thing. If I don't have a wife and kids, I'll be lonely. Um, But that's the evil one speaking to you. Whereas if we turn to the Lord, he has his hands open with these amazing gifts for us and these amazing desires that he wants to fill in our hearts. So turn to him and allow him to speak what he wants to do for you and what he wants to give for you. And look at the goodness. Because when someone's in love, everything else falls away and they just gaze on their beloved. And we as seminarians are men who are just in love with Jesus. We just want to spread his love to the world. So take your eyes off the world and just keep your eyes on Jesus. Don't look at the storm as Peter did when he fell, but be like Peter, who after he fell in the water, when he was afraid of the storm, he looked back to Jesus and called out to him. So it's okay to be afraid, just turn to the Lord and ask for Mary's help too, because she's there with us all.